Today, the topic of discussion is correlated query. So this is one of the very important topic and confusing too. So my uh, feeling, Gert's feeling is that you will understand this topic very, very clearly. So let's understand what correlated query is all about. Prior to correlated query, I have tried to explain you nested query. Nested query, nested query. And what I have explained you, what is nested query? You have an inner query, fine. You have an outer query, fine. So what happened in nested query? Inner query gives its output. Its output to what? Outer query. Outer query process this and gives final result. Gives final result. So this was nested query. Where inner query was independent of outer input. Fine. Inner query gives its own input. It takes its own input and give output. Fine. But if I talk about correlated query. Correlated query but if i talk about correlated query there is again one inner query fine there is again one outer query fine but here what happens inner query first take some input from outer query process it and then gives its output to outer query fine then outer query process it and gives final result so what actually taking place here three steps are taking place to give the final result this means that inner query is depending on outer query also where in nested query inner query was independent that is why nested query is called independent nested query while correlated query is called dependent nested query fine so this is the main difference between correlated query and uh, in uh, nested query now i give you a very good example i am very sure that you all must have solved a program of matrix fine in matrix what you use you use nested loop for i is equal to 0 and something i i and then you comes with j loop for j is equal to 0 and what j less than equal to i what actually taking place is what here this one is inner loop this one is outer loop here inner loop is depending on value of outer loop fine so inner loop will take the value of outer loop and then process it gives its value to outer loop and then outer loop finally gives the result fine so in a similar fashion correlated query is working so let's move further to understand correlated query fine so consider the table employee you have a table employee given below your job is to determine the third highest salary your job is to determine the third highest salary of the given table using correlated query your job is to find the third highest salary now your job is to find third highest salary but now condition is that you have to use correlated query so what the query is let's see the query so as i told you while solving nested query you solve the nesting part first in nesting part what you follow you follow the pattern of execution what is pattern of execution first we check from then we go for where then if there is some uh, group by and order by then the uh, group by then we use group by if there is having then we use having then we if we have aggregate function then we check aggregate functions and then we select then we use select and then order by fine so this is format this is pattern of execution fine so either it's a nested query or it's any query you follow the same pattern so if i say i am following the pattern first i check from here what i'm finding is that from table employee and there is f this means what there is some alias of employee table that employee table table is known by a name f where now we check second condition where f dot salary is greater than e dot salary this means that there are two tables one name is f and another name is e so what is actually taking place is this so you can see there there are now what i have what i did is that i have created two table of same employee table one name is e another name is f and now we have two alias that is alias e and alias f now come and solve this inner query from fine employee f now i'm considering f table fine okay then comes where where f dot salary this means these all are what f dot salary is greater than equal to e dot salary as yes, i'm like, talking about this that's these salary should be greater than this salary fine so how these uh, things takes place let me tell you very clearly so let's start so what actually will happen first of all the 
first tuple of e table first tuple of e table will get selected and what is this e dot salary will be compared with every salary of f table that is e dot f dot salary is compared with this simple single e dot salary fine and this f dot salary should be greater than or equal to e dot salary is this greater than or uh, equal to yes not greater than but equal to is this great f dot salary greater than 40000 no so i'll cross this is this is greater than 40000 no is this is greater than no is this is greater than no so finally what happened only one row selected now we come to the select part so before select you have a aggregate function yes and what aggregate function is saying select what uh, saying count f dot salary but distinct f dot salary you have only one f dot salary so no use of using distinct you have only 40000 so what will be the count value one so what the answer of this query is what the answer of inner query is what one now you come to the outer part what in outer part you are checking table from do you have from yes from table e you are considering table e where three equal to is three equal to one no three is not equal to one so what happened while when we have selected this 101 john cs 40000 what we are getting is that three is equal to one where three is not equal to one so we'll discard this uh, tuple so i'll say i'll not select you and finally yes 40000 is not the third is salary the third is salary is 35000 so yes 40000 is not the answer also fine if you have not understood yet i'll explain you once again what happened now what happened now is what happened the second tuple of e table will get selected now i will compare this salary with all the salary of f and what i'll check that f dot salary should be greater than e dot salary so is this f dot salary greater than 35000 yes i'll select this is 35000 greater than 35 no but equal to i'll select this is 30000 greater than 35000 no is 35000 greater than 35000 no but equal to 35000 one condition is true is 38000 greater than 30 yes i'll select this so finally what we are getting so we are getting four tuples now what i have to do i have to use this aggregate function count and now i'll apply distinct f dot salary you have 40000 40, 40000 35000 two times so while using distinct you will get only one time so this will select it this will select it i'll discard this because this is repeating and this will get selected so finally what answer we are getting three so we are getting three so the output of this internal query is three now what i'll say from employee yes where three equal to three yes condition is true condition is true so what i'll do i'll select name and salary of which tuple the tuple which we have currently selected so the tuple we have selected is james and salary is thirty-five thousand. so answer you are getting is what james and thirty-five thousand. and do, didn't you check that thirty-five thousand is the third highest salary thirty-five thousand is the third highest salary of a table forty thousand is the first highest 38 is the second and james is 35 now your question is Peter is also 35,000. So I'll say yes, Peter is also 35,000. And I have yet not stopped executing. The table is still executing. The query is still executing. So what will happen next? This part will get selected. And again, this salary will this salary will compare with every salary of F. Fine. So is this greater than? No. Is f dot salary is greater than 30,000 no is this is greater no is equal to fine so i'll select this no and no so finally the count value is what one and this three is equal to one no so i will not select you why because three is not equal to one when i'll select this 35,000 again again now i'll select this tuple so i'll compare this salary with each salary is this is greater than no is this is greater than no but equal to is this is greater than no is this is greater than i'm so sorry this is greater than yes this is this 40000 is greater than 35 so i'll select this is this no not greater but equal to not greater than but equal to greater than fine so finally again i have selected four columns four tuples fine and then i'll count distinct so what are distinct this is distinct this is distinct this is not distinct this is distinct so the count value will give me three is three equal to three yes so the tuple i have selected this i'll select name and salary name is what peter and salary is 30 so the answer which we are getting is peter and thirty-five thousand, and hundred percent we are getting the right answer because james and peter are two employees who are getting the third highest salary now your question is if i have to select second put second over here 
it, I, if I have to select fourth highest salary, put fourth. If I have to select 15th highest, put 15th. So this is the method by which you can use correlated query to find nth highest salary. So at last, I'll say thank you so much.